6 a.m. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Alpha. My name is Stavon Thomas, pastor of the Brownstone District of Seventh-day Adventist Churches. We are so happy to have you this morning as you tune in as we go through the lesson together. This week, we are at lesson number eight, and we are studying planning for success. Today's lesson is entitled, First Things First. But before we go into the lesson, let us pray. Our Father and our God, we are grateful for spirit lives. As we go through the lesson, I pray, dear Lord, that you will help us to learn and understand how to put things in perspective by putting first things first. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. As people mature from childhood into adults, thoughts will arise about having to provide for the basic needs of life food, clothing, and shelter. Jesus himself has told us how to prioritize our needs when he said, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you, as recorded in St. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. As we saw in Genesis 28, 20 to 22, Jacob had and made some important life choices, both spiritual and financial. In the vision, the Lord introduced himself to Jacob as the Lord God of Abraham, your father, and the God of Isaac. Then as part of the vow, Jacob said, the Lord shall be my God. After Jacob made his spiritual and financial commitment to God, the Lord directed him to Rachel at the well. It is fitting to make your spiritual decisions, this discussion, sorry, and your life this decision before committing to marriage. Your future spouse should know what they are getting into. Is this person com a committed Christian? What type of work will he or she be involved in? Will this person be a teacher, nurse, lawyer, doctor, laborer, or any kind of profession? Other questions that may need to be answered before marriage are the commitments, what level of education they complete. Is this person ambitious and goal oriented? What about the amount of debt that the person has? Am I willing to accept this situation as a part of my responsibility? Because whenever a person gets married, the two shall become one. And sometimes when you become one with that person, whatever baggages that person take from their singleness, at times they take it into the marriage. And sometimes these things will ruin the relationship. So it is very important for us to put our priorities in place. And if a person cannot answer these basic questions and other important questions, it means that the person does not know how to put things first things first and the person doesn't know how to prioritize. And that, my friends, is a lesson for all of us. Before we end, we will end in prayer. Our Father, our God, we are grateful for this lesson, teaching us how to put things into perspective. Thank you, dear Lord, for what we have learned and help us to apply them. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for making it Alpha. Join us tomorrow and throughout the week as we continue to go through lesson number eight. Have a wonderful day.
for all daily at 6 a.m.